Now, if you've tried to cancel your TV license online through their form on their website, you may very well find it's broken. It's quite often broken. I think they do it on purpose because they want you to phone up. But let's say you didn't want to phone up. You've dropped them an email telling them you want to cancel your TV license. Well, this may very well be what they send you in return. So I thought we could go through it because if you've got this, you might want some help answering the questions or you might just be interested to see the extent of the questions they need to ask you just to cancel your TV license. I would suggest if you get this, don't bother with it. You know, cancel your direct debit, ignore their letters, as is your right. You don't have to tell them you don't require a tele license. You can just cancel your direct debit and ignore their letters and be TV license free. But we'll take a look at this anyway. I think the amount of effort you, they want you to put into this is unacceptable really, isn't it? But let's have a look. Telling us you don't need a TV license. No TV, not watching live TV or any channel or service or iPlayer, empty property. You can let us know here by completing a no license needed declaration. Now what I would say quickly though, is if you've just moved to a new property and they don't know that you live there, don't do this. Don't give them your details. Don't tell them you don't need a license. Just ignore them. It's better off that you'll get letters addressed to the occupier rather than yourself. You don't need to tell them any of your details if they don't know them already. If you've got a license and you're cancelling, you can do the no license needed declaration. I've done it myself for a few years. I'm not going to renew it. But um, yeah, let's carry on. The law says you need to be covered by a TV license too. Watch or record TV on any channel. Yeah, that's correct. Watch live TV on any streaming service, e.g. ITV Hub, all for Amazon Prime. Now, they, they make a point of putting ITV Hub, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Now TV, and all that there on purpose because people don't read everything. Yeah, well, people are like, I do it myself. You don't read everything, do you? You just skim it and you're like, ah, oh, crap, without a telly license, I can't watch YouTube or Amazon Prime. That's what the average person thinks. But you've got to read it to say, watch TV live on any streaming service. I wish they put the live really big, bold, or put marks around it, something, you know, to make it stand out more. But then I suppose they wouldn't sell quite as many telly licenses if they made it too easy. Please carefully answer the following questions. Right. Do you or does anyone in your household ever watch TV on any channel? So that is a thing. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be TV license free, you can't watch any TV channel as it's being broadcast. None of them. Not just BBC stuff, all of them. So I'll give them a pass on that. That's fair dues. I don't see why you need to ask it. But um, yeah, it's a fair question, I think. Can you confirm that you and your household never watch BBC iPlayer? Again, fair point. Without a TV license, you can't use BBC iPlayer to watch BBC shows. However, you can use it to watch S4C stuff on demand. And uh, radio, I think, isn't it? Although that's not on there anymore. I think it's on BBC Sounds, isn't it? I don't use any of the apps. Do you or does anyone in your household watch TV on any TV service? For example, on Sky, BT, Sky. Now, this is the bit that gets me a bit because you can have Sky and Virgin and Freeview Plus without a television license as long as you only watch the stuff on demand. But it says here, does anyone in your household watch TV on any TV service? Uh, it's misleading wording, isn't it? should say watch TV as it's being broadcast. Because you can watch, you know, Sky stuff on demand without a telly license. You can technically have a Sky subscription without having a TV license or needing a TV license. As long as you only watch the things on demand. So it's misleading wording. So yeah, here it goes. I think they've begun turning it up a bit, don't you? Number four, do you or does anyone in your household watch TV programs live on any streaming service? For example, on, oh look, well they've put live back in there. I'm going to give them a pass already. Look at that. ITV4, Sky Go, Prime Video, live. They have put the word live. I still like to see it bigger and some marks around it or bold, whatever. But yeah, fair enough. I'll give them a pass for that. But it's, we're up to four questions now. And all I wanted to do was cancel my telly license. I'm up to four questions now. It's mad, isn't it? Number five. Can you confirm that you or your household never record TV, for example, on Sky, BT, Virgin, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, without a TV license, you can't record anything as it's being broadcast. But I think the whole DVR thing is getting a bit old-fashioned now, isn't it? I mean, I used to have Sky Plus years ago, and I used to like the whole series link thing, and it was always there when I wanted it. And it was just like watching TV on demand. I just let it record my stuff, and I can watch it when I want it. But now you can just stream stuff whenever you want it. Why you don't really need to record anymore. Do people still use the recorders? I don't know. I don't think I would if I had one. I don't 
see the need for it. You can just stream everything on demand now, can't you? The only good thing about Sky Plus, you can fast forward the adverts, couldn't you? Can't do that on the streaming services. Shame. Blimey, we're up to question six now. Six questions just to cancel your telly license. Do you or does anyone in your household watch foreign channels on TV or live online, for example, RT, Al Jazeera, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this for me is one of the most stupid TV license rules. Without a telly license, you can't watch foreign channels as they're being broadcast. So from whatever country, like my missus is Spanish, likes a bit of Spanish telly. If we could access it live, she wouldn't be able to watch it live because we don't have TV licenses or American channels or RT, if you like that sort of thing, Al Jazeera, if you like that sort of thing. What business is it of the BBC's? If you want to watch a foreign television channel that has nothing to do with the UK whatsoever, what business is it of theirs if I want to watch that without having a telly license? But you can't if you don't have a telly license. It's ridiculous. So after their six excessive questions, which I don't understand why they need to ask, you can then hit your submit button. As the person who sent me this through, I didn't get this myself, someone sent me this, one of you brilliant people. If you want to find out how to send me your stuff, the link is below in the description. You have to hit the arrow thing to open it up. It's in there though, don't worry. But they sent me this and um, we scroll down. He answered the questionnaire, right? Clicked everything he thought was correct. And then it said, based on your answers, you need to be covered by a TV license. And this guy knows the rules. He knew what he was doing, but he still got it wrong. You know, and where he went wrong, I can show you. It was question five. Can he confirm that you or your household never record TV, for example? On He hit no, because he was just hitting no on all of them. He wasn't even reading them. He just hit no on everything. But they've thrown a curveball in on five because you need to click yes to tell them you don't need a TV license. So I've corrected that for him, and um, he's going to take care of that. But yeah, catch out, I don't know, a little trick question in there. But I still maintain the best way to cancel your TV license is to either just bin them off. If you pay by direct debit, you may pay in advance. So give them a call to cancel and you ask them about a refund. If you don't pay by direct debit, you haven't got a line, you just want to cancel it off. Cancel your direct debit first if you do pay by that way, blah, blah, blah. And then just ignore them. Just completely ignore them. Put their letters in the bin. They're stupid, threatening letters that mean nothing. I've got playlists of the letters on my channel. Hit my name down there and um, have a look for the playlist and all the letters. I'll break them all down let you know how not scary any of the letters are. But the best way is just to blank them off. I do complete the no license needed thing. I have done for years. I won't be renewing it when I move home because I don't want them to know my address. Why would I want them to know that? I don't have any contact with these people. I don't want to buy the thing they want to sell me. So, yeah, I won't be completing it anymore after that. And I'll be interested to see if that does ramp up the visits. Because I haven't had a visit for years. But I'll be interested to see if they do. That'll be fun. Why not? I'll try and film it and bring it to you guys. But what do you think about this? Do you think it's excessive six questions? It's stupid, isn't it? Just bin them off. But if you, know, if you do need to get a refund or ask any questions, phone them. Don't bother poncing about all this nonsense. The phone people are quite helpful. Give them a call or just ignore them. Them's is your choices, really. But let me know what you think about all this in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.